What's up, world? Uh, <laughs> we're about to uh, do something crazy right now. Get rid of this couch. Two, and, uh, three. Here we go. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Why, hello there, people. Welcome back to the channel. And I just want to say I did conclude Project Snowblind, and now I'd like to give a little review to it. So, just a brief little scenario, a uh, kind of summary to say what it all is about. Project Snowblind is a futuristic war game where a certain enemy faction led by the general has a rogue army unit that wants to take over the world through some EMP means. They invade and occupy Hong Kong in an attempt to start a chain reaction all over the world. That's where you have an international peacekeeping coalition where we also see Nathan Frost and they do everything in their power to stop this general and as you notice they actually succeed from the EMP bombs being launched. I have to say this game was actually pretty fun to play. It involved a lot of realistic war scenarios and kind of good visuals about urban warfare. It's very arguable that this is like the early version of the modern Call of Duty games, and I wouldn't even hesitate to argue that maybe the developers of Infinity Ward got their inspiration from watching this game, Project Snowblind. But hey, it was pretty awesome, we kinda got to fight off an enemy faction, and we saved the day. Hooray! Everything is all good and done. It's also worth noting that this game is in the same universe as Deus Ex. Yep, though for those of you who have been with me since the beginning of the channel, know that I played Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and a couple of DLCs did come out, so I will be playing the game again in full sometime in the future. But in general, the theme for Project Snowblind is the exact same for Deus Ex. It talks about the role of technology in our society. As you noticed in Project Snowblind, people actually do have prosthetic arms and technology affecting their own organisms. It's just as the doctor said. Lieutenant, the general does not care about the Republic or Hong Kong. He cares about the future of humanity. Wear glasses, you're hurting evolution. Have asthma, you're passing on bad genes. Develop bone cancer and have to lose an arm, you're weak and deserve to die. The way he sees it, Unless you can survive a stone age, you should not survive at all. The theme of this game is the exact same as Deus Ex, where we get to ask, how big of a role should technology play in our society? Should it affect our body, or should it maybe be left separate? These are questions that are rather subjective, but from my own personal opinion, I love technology, I love it quite a lot. I honestly couldn't imagine modern life without it. But... I do think we do need to marry technological progression with wisdom. We cannot just start chipping away at our humanity to become, in some sense, superior, when in the end it might not even grant superiority. On my commentary channel, I even did a video about that. But it is good to see what was all in the same exact timeline. I mean, I like the fact that you could see all the shiny stuff that was also in Deus Ex. And for a very long time, I've actually been trying to find a World War III game that centers in China. And what better Chinese city than the lovely Hong Kong? I want to be ninja. Chow down to Chinatown. I kind of also did compare it with the recent movie Ghost in the Shell because both of these movies are set in Hong Kong. But I was really happy to see that the weaponry and technology in this game is actually more compatible and more relatable to modern day. Like in Ghost in the Shell we see these spider tanks and we see some weird drones moving around. But here you can actually recognize that these weapons are tanks and rocket launchers and rifles. And you even have like firearms, ones that really have gunpowder. It's good to see a 500 year old weapon still being used today. What was also good is it actually showed the humanity part succeeding. At the end after Nate destroys the tower that hosts all the EMP bombs, he actually takes out the chip that provides power to all his cybernetics. And fortunately it works, which kind of does go to show that humanity wins in the end. And at the end when the EMPs like just destroy all the technology around them so they have to walk. You know what Nate said at the end. We walk. Again, it's a basic human thing. 
we walk. And considering in today's world where humans walk less, it would be awesome to actually see that being used in the future. Now I noticed that you guys also like these little intros I did at the beginning. Let me know, would you like me to do more of them? Because I, I kind of found them funny myself. But let me know what you thought of the game, and also let me know what you think of Deus Ex, and most importantly, Cyberpunk. So I love every single one of you, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!